I know I said I was supposed to shave, man, but give me a break. I've been sick these past two weeks. That's why I haven't done a video blog in since August. How does everybody like my new background, by the way? This is not going to be the same background each time. Each time, the background will be different. Today, I just decided to mess around with two towels. You like them? Like I said, each time there will be a different background. I'm working on some cool backgrounds, and I'm improvising. So a lot of you out there with the high-tech stuff are going to not like my stuff because the quality is not up to your par. Eh, give me... Go suck an egg or a lime or whatever. Or go stand in the middle of the road and get hit by a truck. So how's everybody new today? Today is video number 10. T-E-N. Or, or, or is it line in a circle? I remember that joke on the Steve Harvey show. The girl who doesn't know how to read but is good at playing football or basketball. She doesn't know how to say she doesn't know how to write or read, but she spells ten line in a circle. <laughs> I still remember that joke from, the, from that show. And let's talk about some of the current events to begin. Oh, by the way, and I'll tell, I'll, I'll give it away later. To begin, let's talk about some current events. To begin, we've had a lot of passings these past this past year. My last video was back in August, so let's give an update on video number nine. Selling water outside of uh, SummerSlam at the Barclays Center was a flop. It was a fucking flop. And I realized one thing. I can't stand wrestling fans, especially selling to them. I had the same issue years ago at the flea market back in 07 and 08. I used to sell wrestling toys, but these people, they like to spend money. So that, which means that if you're selling something for a dollar and the other place has it for 10 bucks, and it's the same exact thing, guess where they're going to go? To the $10 place. And then when you try to jack up the price to compete with the other person, they'll still go to the other person even if they don't know them. I don't, I don't understand the, the mentality of wrestling fans, but selling outside of the Barclays Center, I didn't even go on SummerSlam. I went the day earlier for the NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2, I think it was. I didn't think I was going to go because it was cloudy, but then it got sunny and hot and humid. And uh, it was a, it was a, I only sold to three wrestling fans. Three people that were there were wrestling fans. Everybody else there were just regular Joes and Janes that were in the neighborhood. The area is actually pretty nice, but if you go further up, it's an industrial area. And it was just a, it wasn't, it, it, it was a bust. Then my cart broke. And my cooler tilted over when I was in the industrial area. I was like, fuck this. Let me get the fuck out of here. This selling selling it was just a fucking ugh, it just threw me off so that the next day I didn't even bother by going to the SummerSlam or I could easily have gone again on Monday for Monday Night Raw because they do the they do all three shows in a row at the Barclays Center kind of reminds me of Wrestlemania 21 when they did uh, uh, Wrestlemania and they did Raw the next night at the Staples Center but yeah it, it wasn't really that great uh, and I also came to the conclusion that wrestling fans th th these they, they contradict themselves because they say support your small indie company but yet they're so big on feeding money to the big corporations. I got my water for a dollar. And I even went as far as to buy Poland Spring. Because these jabronis in Brooklyn, I, I discovered from a, a subway rider. Brooklyn people have a superiority complex, so they like to buy the good stuff. They were going across the street to stop and shop to buy Fiji and Core. I always laugh at that Core brand because the bottle looks like a bottle of shampoo. And I said to myself, nah, what the hell with it. Uh, fuck it, let me get the hell out of here. I ended up selling to, I ended up selling, like, you know, in that stupid station, the Barclays Center station, it's like playing Donkey Kong, because I don't know where the fuck anything is, and it's one thing if you're just walking there, but with me with my cool, I'm trying to find the staircases with the elevators, and it was just a pain to get there, I said, the fuck with this, I had to just say, screw it, I'm going to take this cooler on the staircase with me, which meant carrying that son of a bitch on my shoulder, going up the staircase, eh, it was just like, yeah, fuck, let me get the hell out of here. I ended up hitting. I ended up drawing attention to myself a lot for being all the time. There was one attractive girl looking at me, and I was a bust. I should have hit on her, but I was in a bad mood anyway. You know, you know, you're in a bad mood. And you start scaring people away when even the dangerous dude in the train just, just goes away and sits for me because I'm talking to myself going, "Fuck!" Because my cool is tilting and my ah, it's just. Let's just keep that behind me because that's out of my system already. And, uh, oh, and by the way, an update from the water business. It's officially done. I finished the water last Wednesday. And I got a little bit overconfident during the month of August and September. August and September were not good m months for selling water. I, uh, and the, w the winter decided to start early. At the end of September into October, it got really cold. It, was, it got warm last week, which is why I got sick. But even with my, you know what, 
I went to sell water in my usual spot. My last day was Wednesday. I did okay. But I have, I think, eight cases of water that are just going to have to sit in the basement. I'm going to save them for next year. And yes, they do last because all you got to do is look at the expiration date. I got a little bit overconfident because my local supermarket, Western Beef, has all the good stuff cheap. They don't always put Poland, Poland Springs on sale and Aquafina's on sale, so they had them three for ten plus bottle deposit and tax. Here in New York City, you have to pay bottle deposit for the fucking water, so that's annoying, but whatever. And they're just gonna have to sit there till next year. So that is one thing. Let me cross that out. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Give an update and the water business. Hey, what the hell? I'll cross that over. By the way, I don't know. If you, I don't know. I forgot to mention that the date is ten, is ten twenty five, which means. October is already over. Next week is going to be November. A week from now is going to be November. You know what that means? November means Movember. N, replace the N with an M, which means you're going to be seeing me with a mustache. I'm going to see if I can do more videos just so I can sport my mustache, or as Josh Peck said on Drake and Josh, like mustache. I did it last year, but I didn't have any platform to show, hey, look at me. I got a mustache to show it off because I don't really spend time on Facebook. I, I mean, I have a store. I have a store Twitter account, but you know, I'm trying to keep that just business and not post anything personal there. I don't even spend that much time in, the, in that, that account either. I'm spending more time in my in my Twitter account that I'm going to be plugging, which is Silver Cats TV. It's the same thing as my YouTube channel. It's the same thing as as the Twitter account Silver Cats TV. Which brings me to the other thing I'm going to talk about: my explanation to my name. I was reading. I, I like to watch a lot of blogs from other people the tutorials or do's and don'ts one of them is they talk about what do they talk about they, they they give you explanations about names come up with catchy names but some of those names are very weird but if it works it works i follow some of them they, they have like the weirdest name like limitless xp he's a prankster angry picnic <laughs> it's like two words put together in one they have like those weird it's, some of those names sound like it, those, those weird uh rock and roll whatever alternative bands from the 1990s they had like some of the most unusual things like three doors down green day blue day but whatever i mean so how did i come up with the name silver cats tv i'm gonna have to leave it up to you to figure it out originally it was silver cats 82 but i decided to go with the tv route except there's just one problem now every fucking channel on youtube almost every channel has tv in it Checo tv uh, prank TV, uh, something TV, that TV, and I decided, you know what, let me be creative, let me go with the TV around until I realize everybody's got the TV name, but you know what, some of my videos, my previous video, I already plugged my Twitter account at SilverCats TV, except for video number three, where I had it at SilverCats82, I'm not going to change the name again, so I'm just going to keep TV, plus I'm, I was listening to this one girl in one of her videos, she says, don't put any numbers on your name, because people can still take your name, but it'll be like what, uh, Let's say Silver Cats 81, Silver Cats 23, Catch 23, Area 51, Area 52. They could still use the same words, but the number is the only thing that's different. So I said, nah, I'm just going to keep Silver Cats TV, and that's just going to be. I got to stop focusing on the fucking name and get just throw the content there already. I already got two subscribers there already, and I already posted up a video that uh, so far has gotten a few views. Let's, I just hope it gets the same amount of views when I post my material there. So there is, I gotta cross that out. So, beep, 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 beep. Oh, let's talk about a little bit of current events. To begin, we've had a lot of passings from the month of August till October. Uh, starting in August, like a few, like a week or two after my, my last video, we lost uh, Gene Wilder. Uh, we lost uh, Spanish-Mexican singer Juan Graviel. And we lost also uh, Mr. Fuji. I don't know who else passed away in September, but this past month we lost Thomas Michael Ford from my favorite show, Martin. I always wonder what happened to that guy, because, you know, I didn't see him do any, I didn't really see him do anything after, uh, after, I don't, I don't know, he, he was on the Jamie Foxx show back in the 90s, I don't know what he did during the 2000s, so I didn't really see him do anything. I know he always played like a ruthless mobster, he always plays like an asshole in some of the stuff I've seen him in. I didn't know he was sick for many years and he passed away a few weeks ago. And I think it was this past week or Saturday we lost also, if, if you're an old wrestling fan like myself, Frenchie Martin, who was Dino Bravo's original manager. Or was it, or was it, who was the other guy who lives in Queens? Uh, Johnny, uh, what's that guy's name? Johnny V? 
I think that's the guy's name, Johnny V, Johnny Valian. He lives in somewhere. I heard he lives in Woodside, unless he moved back to Pennsylvania. I don't know. But anyway, uh, one thing that's shocking about Frenchie Martin is that he spoke Spanish perfectly clear. Here on YouTube, many years ago, somebody uploaded an episode of uh, WF Wrestling, no, was it Superstars on Telemundo? And his accent sounded like a Puerto Rican. And when I mean the Puerto Rican, I mean the ones that speak slowly, not the ones that speak fast. So those are the current events. Uh, but, 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 let me cross this thing out. Do -do. The current events. Summer is over. The winter got started really fast. Tomorrow I got to go back to my storage and, you know, take out all my... Put all my shorts away, everything, and bring out my sweatpants and my jackets. I'm using a light jacket right that I saved that I didn't know what I did with it. And I have another jacket underneath it because it is cold outside. It's 50 degrees. Not that bad. So, uh, that's, that's a fucking drag. What's everybody going to be dressed up for Halloween, by the way? I don't know what I'm going to be dressed up as. Sometimes I just get creative and I just put on a jacket and a weird hat. And that's my costume. I don't go trick-or-treating as much. What I like to do instead, and I've been doing this for 10 years now, I like to rather hang out at home with the candy. Sometimes I'll go as far as to go outside and find people you know, to trick-or-treat trick -trick, because I always had the worst habit of living in a neighborhood where nobody knocks at my door. A few years ago, I used to live in this Hasidic neighborhood on the other side of Queens. And people would always go across the street to ask for candy, but never my block. Why? Because the whole block was Jewish and they don't answer the door. So I was always the one going, hey, I got candy right here, candy right here. I always have to sit by the window. So last year, nobody really knocked at my doors. I had to go outside and stand there with the, with the costume and say, hey, trick or treat right here. And let's see how it goes this year because this is a very diverse neighborhood. People knock at every door. Let's hope that we get some customers. <laughs> I like to say customers. I like to stand here and give people candy. Also, let me see how I cross that out, which means next month. I already crossed that out. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me see now. Summer is over. Man, I've really gone through everything. I have exactly 7.59 minutes. I'll be right back. Give me one second, people. And now, back to our show. One question I want to ask everyone, for also you health gurus out there who are terrified of sugar and whatnot, give me a second. We're terrified of sugar and sweet drinks and, you know. One question I have for everybody is who still drinks Kool-Aid? I don't drink Kool-Aid. I've been lately going to have a habit of drinking Kool-Aid, although Kool-Aid's gotten pricey now, so people just stick to just buying a can of Arizona or soda for those who like to drink soda. But people are too lazy to make Kool-Aid nowadays. I still drink Kool-Aid, which has become a running joke at my job, at least I think it has been, with a previous party that's no longer there anymore. I would always make iced tea for her and, you know, the kid I work with. Man, whatever, but... Who here still drinks? I, I decided not to drink the red Kool-Aid anymore because I figured it's too sweet, but I still buy Kool-Aid, except I buy the store brand Kool-Aid. Buy the local Western Beef Orange Drink Mix. I don't know if this is Tang or just orange-flavored Kool-Aid. The red is too sweet, even if you make it less sweet, but I'm, like, saying to myself, you know, you could... You could you could, you, you could control the sweetness on it to your liking. You could put as much sugar as you want to in it, or don't put too much sugar in it at all. But, I don't know, some people have a paranoia about it, so... I heard that the people who don't drink Kool-Aid now, they drink something else. Uh, something light. Sweet light, I think it is. It looks like a, it looks like a sweet and low, but it's actually just a small powder. I don't know what the hell it is, but fuck, and that's about it. And summer's over... Man, looks like I'm already done with this video. I wanted to get video number 10 out of the ballpark already. By the way, I don't want no one subscribing to this channel right now. This is my personal channel. I've said this a hundred times in previous videos. I want you guys all to subscribe to my new channel, Silvercats TV. There's some people out there who post content up. They have their channels with a thousand subscribers, but the funny thing is there's no videos in them. Unless those videos are private and they're only for the people that subscribe to it. So why do you need a thousand people? There's no comment, no content there. It doesn't make any sense. I so far have two subscribers on that channel. And the funny thing about this channel right now that I'm in, this is not even a channel. This is just my personal account. When I started doing these videos, I think I had 118 subscribers. And it's gone up to 143 now, I think. And, you know, it'd be weird how quickly the other channel grows. But be that as of May, uh... 
Silver Cats TV is the new channel. I'm going to be posting some stuff up. I'm going to be posting up. I'm going to see, even I'm doing this video right now, I'm going to see if I could work on a trailer in the next few hours. See, I was going to, originally, I wasn't going to be doing a video right now. I was going to go to outside and move my damn car, but the I think the parking is suspended today, and this stupid neighborhood where I live in, parking is a pain. And I said, nah, if the car is where it is, I'm going to leave it there because they're doing road work on the other side, and oh, shit, that's fucked me over. Selling the water this week, uh, these past few weeks have been annoying because I've had to walk to my spot, not drive to my spot, because uh, the roads are all bumpy and I have to take the longer streets and there's no parking. I'm like, yeah, it's not, forget it. So, be that as of me. Each background, like I said before, the backgrounds are going to be different each time. I'm gonna my next my next set of videos are going to be different. I'm also going to be changing the name. The name is not going to be the Mindless Blog anymore. Reason why. I want you all to, in fact, if you type in right now, you're watching this video and you look on the sidebar, there's a bunch of mindless, mindless this, mindless that. I found out there's a boy band called Mindless Behavior, and I always get something like uh, somebody from Mindless Behavior talking, and the, I don't know what the hell is, but there's, the name Mindless is very common on YouTube, so I said, you know what? I have to come up with a new name. Uh, what the new name is going to be, you're going to have to just find out. That's right. I'm not going to tell you right now. You're just going to have to find out. I'll probably give it away on the trailer. But for now, just enjoy this video. I finally got video number 10. I started doing these back in March. I should have finished them back in April or May, but I got lazy and busy with work. And I've been busy with my work now because I got more hours now. I'm sleeping at my other job more nights now because uh, one of the previous parties are left. So with her gone, it's a way off. It's a eh, never mind. I don't about that time. if you want to know what I'm talking about just go watch video number four and five and you go you go from there this is video number 10 I am Axeman 15 but I'm no longer going to be Axeman 15 in my next video I'm going to be Silver Cats TV that's going to be my new although though that's not my real name but it'd be cool if you really were born and you got a nickname instead of a name imagine all the nicknames you get stuck with Ajax Undertaker uh, Baseball Fury number seven I'm going off topic. Anyway, let me get the hell out of here. I got, what, four minutes? I'm going to see if I start keeping these videos short because mostly you have the attention span of a hummingbird. Unless you're popular, then you could, you could post an hour blog and people will just listen to you. Or the ones where people like to rant and complain and you got everybody kissing their ass, like Facebook. You got those people that are very popular and every time they write, they're, they're drawing their stars. You got all you jabronis out there kissing their asses and, <laughs> you know, they could post an hour long rant and you will listen to every word or. At least, I don't know. Anyway, video number 10 is officially done. I finally got this fucking video done. I've been putting this thing off for about a month now. And what do you know? I actually kept it up to date. I posted up everything here. I crossed out everything here. You, you can't see the dashes. Let me get out of here. Uh, I got more stuff to post. I'm going to be working on these videos now every week. I'm going to make a habit of doing these videos every week. Even if the content sucks, then I'll probably just roll over, jam it in, and... I'll probably be a hidden gem. Oh, and also, I don't just have a YouTube account. I also have a Daily Motion account. That's right. It's also the same name, Silver Cats TV. So these videos, you could find them on my Silver on my uh, Daily Motion account under Silver Cats TV. You're gonna see. You wanna know if it's the right Silver Cats TV? You're gonna see a picture of Rambo from Rambo Three. That's my profile picture. That's about it. So, okay, folks, that's it. See you later. I should be back in the next two weeks with a new video I have to come up with material for my next video and I'm gonna see if I can do a podcast too yeah a podcast believe it or not a video podcast as opposed to just an audio podcast so let me get out of here uh, let me finish this coffee probably make some Kool-Aid later orange Kool-Aid all right bye 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 bonds see you later get out I'm tired yes I'm tired I slept late and I gotta I got the work to do right now all right, folks, see you later, and I must find the off button on this thing. I haven't done this in a while. 19 minutes. Shit, let me get out of here.